welcome back to Window Shopping. We're returning to ASOS today, and we're not acknowledging that I functionally ghosted my YouTube channel for like three months. <laughs> Grad school is a huge time suck, so sorry. I wanted to return to ASOS because it's where I tend to shop for clothes online, and so because I'm on it so often, I encounter a lot of utter nonsense in the plus size section, and so I thought that it was time to go back for round two. Wow, that was so fast. This is the ASOS design curved satin plus mini dress with high neck in black. I don't know if this word is plis or please. Either way, it's an adorable word. And I don't dislike this style. I have a plis plisse please dress <laughs> that I wear all the time. But I think what makes my dress so cute is that it's a cute little square neck swing dress and not, I don't know, body bag chic. Maybe I've been watching too many mob movies and medical dramas recently. I've been binging House and I just watched Goodfellas for the first time, but this is more attire. I don't know how else I'm supposed to perceive this. I don't dislike a sheath dress, something with a high neck that's midi length, especially if you're taller. I think a midi dress looks so cool. I love a midi length type thing, but the shape of the dress is very important. And I'm not someone who's like big on everything has to be flattering. Ooh, you know what this looks like? This looks like when you use a Q-tip to wipe a bit of mascara that's transferred onto your lower lash line off and it's all covered, like the tip of it is all covered with black mascara. That's what this looks like. <laughs> Which for some people is the desired look. For me, nar. She's really giving it though. Like in this pose, she's almost convincing me because it looks like the dress has a shape from this angle. But when I see it from the front, miss me on. Let's see the walk. No. I know she's just trying to show off the garment so she's not gonna like go full Naomi Campbell on us, but you can tell she's having a little bit of trouble selling the garment and that's okay. It's a hard garment to sell and she's trying her best. Look at how big those armholes are. What's the point of that? Why is there a portal to the underworld underneath the arm of this dress? ASOS. Come on, you're gonna make me look like the end of a Q-tip dipped in tar and make me flash my side boob and arm flab and back fat to people? I'll do it, but I like to have some choice in the matter, you know? Okay, what on earth is going on in the House of Commons? Did a mid-2000s Tuscany-inspired kitchen backsplash get transformed into a dress by a witch? The more I look at it, the less doily it appears. Maybe this isn't that bad, or maybe it is. Maybe my judgment has been clouded by the fact that it's been so long since I did a window shopping video. Maybe I have no sense of style anymore, or maybe I didn't to begin with. No, it's ugly. It's ugly because the embroidery makes it look a little bit like crayon scribbles. Like if a child was drawing on a restaurant placemat or something, and then that was turned into the top half of the dress. Also, do we need the little like jagged edge here? I know it's to differentiate the top and bottom of the dress, but I don't know. I don't think it does what ASOS think it does. Well, it definitely looks like a smock, so there's no false advertising here. It very much looks like something I would have worn to finger paint when I was in kindergarten. $60? Can you imagine paying $15 four times to pay off this dress. I'm not someone who's anti afterpay. I think it's a slippery slope. And I just recently had to do battle with Klarna to pay for a mattress. And I swear to those payments were devastating. <laughs> they wouldn't let me do it in more than four payments. And every time I got an email that they were like, hey girly, give us 400 more dollars on behalf of Helix Sleep. I was like, please. <laughs> Please. The reason I had to get a new mattress is because I've been sleeping alone in my old mattress for so long that there was a seven inch deep pit in my mattress because I was in the same spot in it every night alone for like five straight years. Anyway, oh my God. <laughs> Stop the presses. You're lying. You're lying. This is a real garment. Well, I know we just started, but we were sorely missing absurdity. This is the ASOS edition curved trapeze blouson sleeve V-neck mini dress in textured mesh 
in pink, which is a whole lot of words to say yassified chicken dress. Let's talk about it. I don't think this comes as a surprise to anyone, but I am obsessed with this. This looks like a flamingo got a blowout. Um, I think I want all of my clothes to look like this. Wait, let's check the video. Yeah, yeah. This is what Big Bird wears to pride. This is amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> For whatever reason, the price isn't loading on this page. Let me go back and look. Oh my God, it's $243, period. I want to meet the person who is comfortable paying almost $250 for this deconstructed fiberglass installation looking dress. I could be that person. This is actually out of stock in three sizes right now. I hope to God that statistics and the laws of attraction and manifestation are on my side. And one of the people who bought this watches this video because I need to hear about where you're wearing this. Oh, of course. <laughs> this is a 100% polyester dress. Like literally it's 100% polyester lining, 100% polyester shell. So basically it's 200% polyester. So you're paying too fitty to not only look like a silky chicken, but to sweat your ass off while looking like a silky chicken. I need to buy this. I don't think I would even wear it. I think I would keep it on a mannequin in my room, like in old fashioned Animal Crossing where you didn't have storage for your clothes. So you just had to keep them on mannequins in your house as decor. I love this. It's so stupid and it brightens my day. Oh my God, is it my birthday? Two bangers in a row? Boink, boink. <laughs> None of the prices are loading. $73 for that blue dress and $59 for this. And I'm. Hey, does every single car in the entire world need to be driving up and down my street right now? Is that. Are we all going to a convention? But if I close my window, I'll get sweaty. Anything for art. First on the chopping block is this misguided plus textured mini dress with ruched front in blue. I feel like that's leaving out so much of what's happening here. This is less a dress and more a collection of experiences and textures. This is basically like a fidget toy as an article of clothing. It looks like the cups are a little bit too small for the model and I love when that happens. I love when stores can't even get the clothes to look like they fit on the people who are supposed to be selling them to us. That bodes really well for us regular people who don't have a team of people assigned to make the clothes look good. Great job, ASOS. Um, wow, where do we even begin with this? Where, where do we begin? Let's watch the video. And she's selling the garment, but there is not much garment to sell. This is just cloth and stitching. There's demonic entities woven into these roosts and ruffles and folds and flaps. I know there is. This is just an absolutely wild piece of clothing. I tell you what though, if you buy this Yassified Violet Beauregard Halloween costume, done and dusted. Some blue makeup, maybe blue in your hair, blue tights, blue heels. That would work because this dress does make it look like you are in the process of being inflated like a balloon with these sleeves. Oh my God. I've talked many, many times before in these series how so many fast fashion pieces fall victim to having one too many or sometimes two or three too many design elements on them at once. And it's so interesting. Like some of these pieces, not specifically this one, but so many articles of clothing I've seen in this series look like someone fed a bunch of trendy clothing attributes into an AI image generator and just made whatever it spit out, like those companies that make stuffed toys inspired by children's artwork. <laughs> His ruching is popular. This little textured polka dot pattern is popular among the cottage core girlies. These puff sleeves, the ties that seem to serve very little purpose, popular. Mini dresses are popular. The shade of blue is popular. And we just decided to do everything all at the same time. Do I think this dress is salvageable? Yeah, I think if this was just ruching with maybe some spaghetti straps and it, there were no sleeves at all, that would look a lot better. I think maybe less ruching, not two different puff sleeves, but just this one puff or 
this all the way through would be cuter. Any number of things would make this look less busy and disorienting and hallucinogenic to look at. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. Beats down. She looks gorgeous. Look at her eyebrows. She looks amazing. Oh, she's got a little tattoo. Aw. Love that. Good for you, ma'am. I'm sorry they put you in this. Um, yeah. No, thank you. Oh, she's 5'9". She's short. We love opportunities for short women in fashion. <laughs> anyway, let's check out this monstrosity. Good lord. How tall is she? 5'8". She's even shorter. Oh my god. Wow. There's hope for all of you after all. <laughs> this is the native youth maxi dress with pleated collar and textured checkerboard. Yeah, that's one way to call this. Okay. As a reminder, this dress is $59. What a value. Do I hate these sandals? Kind of, but not really. They work with this dress. I will give ASOS the fact that this bag and these shoes are maybe the only bag and shoe combo that would work with something that looks like this. They did a good job coordinating this, but it isn't a coordination that ever needed to actually happen. Come on, face. Love that. What the hell? Who? I feel like I ask this question all the time. People come from all different walks of life, but who is this for? I should mention that my first thought upon seeing this dress was bridesmaid at a clown wedding, which feels like a really lazy joke, but what else am I supposed to say about this, you know? Acid trip picnic blanket is another phrase that comes to mind. I think I would definitely wear this if I were going on a date with Ronald McDonald, for sure. Or any other famous clown. Bozo. Elon Musk. Like, a lot of clowns. You know, the fact that it's also got this sort of, like, jaundiced look to it. It's very yellowish green toned, even though there's a lot of colors going on here. The greenish yellow sort of pickly colors is very dominant here. It just makes it look like I'm looking at this dress while also like passing out, like fainting, like falling into a coma. Like this is the last thing I see before I'm unconscious for a really dangerous amount of time. Native Youth introduces oversized silhouettes and lightweight sets into your wardrobe this season. Expect clean shapes and soft touch tensile contrasted with raw edge finishes and textured jersey. Clean shapes? Is this, is this a clean shape? This, this is a clean shape to you? It's a clean shape in that it is the shape of something I would wear too clean. Like if I had to scrub my shower down, which I do need to do in real life, I would definitely reach for something that was shaped like this. So, you know, I, I see the vision. I see it. Okay, this one <laughs> over on the far right, this orange. Do I even have to say it? prison inmate prom. I don't, there's nothing else I can say. This is a great fit for if you want to cosplay as Kevin the sea cucumber from Spongebob. Spot the difference. You can't. Okay. I would wear this though. I love green. Like I don't hate everything here. Like these three dresses in a row I think are really cute. I like them a lot. I don't look that good in red. So I don't, well, I don't know why I said that. That was a total lie. I don't know if I look good in this sort of like jacquard red, but it's also too hundo. So I don't think so. Yeah. Let's begin the cross examination. Let's begin the differential. There were choices made here. And I have questions about every single one of them. This is the In the Style Plus by Pierre Sion satin tiered smock dress in khaki. Okay. So we're already telling lies and fibs and fairy tales. Cute shoes. Oh my God, I love those. But they won't save you, dress, from your just desserts. Okay, good. Nice standard image to begin the roasting. Preheat your ovens. Really, sometimes these pieces speak for themselves. This color is called khaki. It's described as khaki, but I have never seen a pair of khakis that made me instantly feel consumed with ennui before. And I worked at Target for a summer. So just take that as you will. This is the color of an overcast sky in New England in February on a Monday. Depression bingo. 
Like, come on. You, you really telling me people are looking at this dress and feeling joy in their hearts? And not only that, they're feeling the urge to charge their credit cards forty nine fifty for the privilege of owning it? I call bull. Expeditiously, I do. I understand that plus-size shoppers need neutrals, too. I love neutrals. I'm really boring. But man, this... This is just, like, sad, right? Like, it's sad to behold. I personally would not pay any amount of money to look this much like a cross between a half-collapsed camping tent and one of those gray blobs from the episode of The Fairly Odd Parents where Timmy wished that everyone looked the same. But whatever. Not everything is for me. Once again, I am asking genuinely. Spot. The difference. Oh my god, hi again, girly. Ooh, yoink, okay. I think I might have to be nice for the first time in this episode. No, I was nice to the flamingo dress, but I'm gonna be nice again. I, mean, I, I just think I'm in like, a, I might be in a pink era right now, I don't know. This is the neon rose plus ruched bust midi tee dress in pink, red, celestial, satin. First off, pink celestial is a hot name for something. I want to use that. That's just a good combination of words. Question, what's happening with my friend's heels here? We didn't want to, we didn't want to get quality control in there or whatever it is on photograph shoots to make sure that people's shoes look normal. Anyway, doesn't matter. She looks beautiful. I kind of love this dress. I think this is really pretty. Is it in my size? Yeah. Okay, that's just something to think about for later. This dress is $57, but it's cute. I'd probably never wear it anywhere, but it's cute. Ooh. <laughs> I have nothing mean to say about this. I have been totally glossier pilled into loving the color combo of pink and red. And I think the neckline and cut of this dress is really soft and pretty and feminine. I like it a lot. I really want to encourage any and all clothing brands to please, for the love of God, Keep this whimsigoth, light, mid-90s, celestial sun and moon shit coming. Please. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love how this stuff looks. It makes me think of being a little kid because I had a baby blanket that had a print like this because I was born in 1994. Oh my God, I love it. I all Anything that has a sun and moon like this in this style, I'm gonna wanna buy. It just, it's like so soothing to me. I love looking at it. I think it's so beautiful. Ah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I want this stuff to be inescapable. Most modern fast fashion stores have like one or two articles of clothing with something in a celestial print like this, but I want this to be as hard to avoid as like houndstooth, polka dot, or butterflies if you're on Shein. I was too young to have anything with this print aside from the aforementioned baby blanket. And it, I just, it's, it relaxes me. It does, I love it. I want this decor and clothing style to be as ubiquitous as Y2K and mid 2000s McBling style clothing. I want this to be everywhere. It's so cute. There's a planet, there's stars. Ah, I just think it's so endearing. Like this is pretty. I would love if it was just like a classic slip dress with spaghetti straps. Well, okay, maybe one thing. This dress is 100% polyester, so if I wore this, I would look like a melting candle in it after about 45 minutes of wear. So that's not great. I have very little to say about this dress. The reason I'm including it is because I saw it and the phrase, it's giving Nancy Reagan, would not leave my brain. So I'm foisting it on all of you. I know it's not red, but something about this silhouette and these sleeves is like so, so 80s. This is literally what the couch that we had in my childhood home looked like. I could not get the sentence, it's giving Nancy Reagan out of my head, even though it's not. I don't wanna look up Nancy Reagan. I don't want her to haunt me. <laughs> this shirt is $56. I'm just gonna start off whatever I'm about to say with that, keep that in mind. This is the Flounce London Plus ruched front blouse in dusty sage. And it comes in a set with these pants that 
seem a little bit like they're a slightly different shade of green. I don't know if this one just seems darker because there's more going on up here, and so there's more shadow. But don't these look like a little bit different? They're not, because this is the same as over here. I think it's literally just the lighting, but I don't know. Perhaps it's a conspiracy. Anyway, thank God for this shirt. I'm literally so grateful. I needed something like this. I just got invited to high tea in the seventh circle of hell, and I've been tearing my closet apart, trying in vain to find something to wear. All of a sudden, this flounce London plush ruched front blouse and dusty sage part of a set drops into my lap. How fortuitous is that? Honestly, I love serendipity. It's a great movie. I honestly don't mind these ruched drawstring tops and skirts and dresses. I've tried on a couple and they are very sexy when they're like the right kind of bodycon. Not an issue, you know? I can imagine this being cute with the strings tightened so there's less of a high neckline, sure. But wouldn't doing so drag these delightful little shrimp puff sleeve shoulders inward too far not to mention giving you about a mile and a half of string hanging out of the bottom of your shirt that you have to deal with i feel like if you tightened this this would all get pulled in way too far and you'd have cleavage but your shoulders would be fighting for dominance on either sides of the nape of your neck i don't I don't see how that would make any sense. I'm not sure what the deal is. This is a pretty color though. I am such a sucker for pretty elegant shades of green like this. Hey, question. These aren't supposed to be drop crotch pants. What is going on? Why, why is the crotch so low on these? Do they just not fit her? Or are they supposed to look like that? ASOS, a dance in the stands. I have to stop watching this beautiful model because I think this shirt is ugly, but she's kind of selling me on it. She looks so happy. She's like, yeah. It's dusty sage, it's a beautiful color. And the sleeves look really nice on my beautiful elegant arms, especially when I lift them above my head. I feel like this falls into the same category as the Violet Beauregard dress from earlier, where there's just maybe one or two too many things going on in the shirt that make it look a little silly. Like this straight across attempt at a square neck, but it starts so high up and then it has the drawstring in the middle. I don't think it works. I don't even mind the bottom of this with this ruffle flare. If it was a plainer shirt, I think that could look really elegant, but with everything combined, it just looks a little silly and cartoonish. Oh my God, this is a throwback, isn't it? This whole ensemble, I feel like I'm in a time machine. This is the only curve long line roll neck knitted tank top in gray. If this is a tank top, then I'm the queen of England. This is a sweater dress. What are you talking about? Why, I understand everything about how this outfit came together. It's all crystal clear to me. Y2K nostalgia has had an iron grip on fast fashion for about three years at this point, and I'm not mad about it, not at all. It's really humorous to see people younger than me pining to dress like people older than me did when I was learning how to read. That's very fun. But did every conceivable early aughts outfit need representation in present day fast fashion? There are a handful of early and mid 2000s styles that I personally will never be able to accept. And I don't mean that they look bad. I'm saying I don't like them. And if there's anything you should have learned by now from window shopping is that I am not the final authority on what clothes do and don't look good. You have to make your own choices because if you follow all of my decisions and live your life according to the things that come out of my brain, Oh my God, you're gonna have such a miserable life. I am a profoundly unhappy person. So please form your own opinions, I beg. Long tunics over pants is one of those early aughts styles that I personally don't like very much. And so that's why I'm hesitant to call this outfit cute. You know what? I think I've shot myself in the foot. I was going to make a joke about how this outfit looks like something an antisocial hacker chick would wear during the pivotal hacking scene in a late 90s heist movie. But then I remembered who my audience is and that all of you would be really into that. Actually, you know what? I convinced myself. This is a serve. Never mind. Let's move on. The bun too. You can just imagine her in this fit being like clickety clackety, clickety clackety, clickety clackety, clickety, click, 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 click. I'm in. That'd be, that'd be kind of sick. Okay, I'm sorry. I hate being proven wrong, even when it's by me. Tengo preguntas. 
and I don't know if the answers are out there. What exactly is going on here? Why did Aso staple two conchas to this lovely girl's chest? Am I bugging or not? What? Look at this. Once again, I ask. I implore you, spot the difference. Concha Blanca, St. Genie's plus volume sleeve corsadito crop chop and cream. I think I just said crop chop. I'm foaming at the mouth. Look at them. Apologies to this model for zooming in on your bitty bitty bomb bombs, but like, hello? <laughs> That's the same thing. And now I'm hungry. So I'm extra mad. You can't just stick cups and I use that term loosely here, on a top and call it quote unquote corset detail, it's not even sitting flush against her waist. When I think corset top, I don't think of something that's going to let a errant autumnal breeze flow up onto the area beneath my boobs. That's not what I get from corset. This is bustier inspired at the most vague. Are people buying this? Oh my God, the girlies are. Okay, well, this is also out of stock in three sizes. So I'm just going to assume that this looks bomb in person and not like the wearer is wearing two pastries on their fechos. Just like the flamingo dress. If anybody has this shirt and is watching this video, I would like to know what it looks like on you. And I'm sure it looks great. Hi, I'm in a different shirt than before. I spilled pico de gallo on my other shirt. <laughs> it's entirely possible that I'm wrong about things and things actually look great when they're on people in real life. I feel like I literally never talk about pants in window shopping videos. Let's do it. Pants and I have a really bloody sordid history. That makes it sound like I'm talking about menstruation, which is ironic for me, <laughs> for those aware of the lore. These are the Vero Moda curved tailored utility pants with zip front in green in the color Comfrey. I promise I'm not just talking about these because the color is named after my least favorite character on Succession. <laughs> why? Because we're watching the show and we have eyes. Anyway, that's not why. I have other reasons. I do actually think these pants are ugly, but not that ugly. They could be a lot worse. It's really the cargo short side pockets with the really chunky seaming that I take issue with. There's only one pair of these pockets on the pants, and these are described as utility pants, but they're otherwise this smooth fabric in this chic muted green made of polyester and viscose, which are not fabrics that scream utility to me. Look at this, utility? These look like they would rip if you looked at them the wrong way. You can't hop a fence in these pants. If you're gonna call something utility pants, I want a little loop to keep my hammer in. I want a rough fabric I can get paint and drywall stains out of. I want enough pockets so that I can comfortably carry around all the washers, nuts, bolts, nails, and tater tots that I might need for whatever the workday throws at me. Also, I just generally have a bone to pick with ASOS and pants because none of their plus size pants are long enough for my legs and all of their tall line pants are too long in the waist for my petite demure little torso. So I can't buy any godforsaken pants from this godforsaken store and it makes me so mad. And I've tried. I have ordered three separate pairs of pants from ASOS and I've had to return all of them and I don't like returning clothing because it means I have to go to the post office. One time at the height of the pandemic, December, 2020, I was at the post office and a woman took off her mask to sneeze and then lick the envelope of the letter that she was mailing. They gave her a glue stick. I don't like it there. <laughs> it's just so hard having gorgeous long legs like I do. It's really difficult. Every time I walk places, I'm like, oh, everybody's staring at my shapely thighs and powerful calves. Ugh, I'm the same height as so many supermodels. How do you think that makes me feel? These pants don't seem strong. If you're gonna call something utility pants, I wanna be able to see the strength. You're telling me this fly is gonna stand up to my stomach? Like this isn't gonna roll down immediately. If there's not a double enforced clasp behind this zipper, it's over. It's a wrap. As soon as I inhale too deeply, 
I'm showing off my Chico and the man to everybody who has the misfortune of looking my direction. Here we have the Flounce London Plus Boho Wide Sleeve Mini Dress in khaki. Big day for khaki. I love that this is a completely entirely different color than the other khaki dress, but I definitely like this one a bit more. I love a bell sleeve. I think it looks so elegant and romantic. I love it. Oh my God, look at these shoes. <gasps> These are so hot. I love those. Okay, amazing. This color is pretty. It's very regal. But the first time I looked at this, this first picture stuck in my head. And I think I finally realized why. It's a combination of the model's pose and facial expression and the fact that my roommate and I are watching the Borgias right now. But this is very monastic. No? If you don't know what that word means, it means I think this dress looks like something a monk would wear. And don't feel bad about not knowing that. I had the phrase, in a manner like or similar to a monk, halfway typed into Google before I remembered the word monastic. So we're all in the same boat here. It's the color, it's the sleeves, the stance, the gathering here at the bosom. It's very robe-esque, right? It's a great piece for when you have a dinner date at seven and have to light the candles for mass at nine or whenever mass happens. I'm only Catholic by osmosis as a result of growing up in Boston, so I apologize for not having accurate facts for my joke in my YouTube video. And you know what? Speaking of religious servant attire, I also found these two pieces. The ASOS Design Curved Cow Neck Midi Dress with Wrap Skirt in khaki, which, you know, pale khaki, khaki khaki, same exact color for sure. And of course the curved satin maxi dress with bat wing sleeves and wrap waist and mink. Like, come on. This gathering, this draping, the way the fabric folds, this is religious attire. Are you joking? This is full scale Franciscan of the highest caliber. I'll hear nothing of it. This is what you wear when you have to walk through the catacombs because you're on reliquary dusting duty. Keeping on these two for a second, I don't want this to come across the long way. Let's not get it twisted, okay? Modest fashion serves. These are both very modest pieces. They're very high neck. There's not a lot of clinging to the body at any point. They're longer dresses and that's fine. That's great. I quite like this green dress. I think it's very elegant, but you can't expect me to see this much drapery and not think of cloaks. And when I think of cloaks, think of monks. You know how people joke about buying generic reflective vests online so they can sneak into concerts because they look like security guards? I am so deeply tempted to buy one of these dresses fly to Rome and try to get into San Pietro's through the staff entrance. I just like show up in here wearing this dress and they're like, are you supposed to be here? And I'm like, yeah, Benedictus told me to come in. I'm here for orientation. 97% polyester, 100% polyester. Do we have a trifecta? Come on, 100% polyester, woo! Before we depart, I would like to take a quick scroll through the pretty in punk section. I'm so excited to see what ASOS's visioning of modern punk fashion looks like. Rouge cutout mini dress with chain detail and mink. If no one buys this to be a sexy mummy from The Mummy starring Brendan Frazier, Halloween costume, I'm gonna be really mad. Like literally just get some medical bandages and wrap them up your legs and arms and do sort of like hot zombie makeup. Oh my God. Yeah, when I think of punk fashion, the first thing I think of is blue flowers on a white polka dot background. Goth tops. I'm a little disappointed already. I was promised goth tops and we're not really seeing any. I'm also not really seeing any shirts in a gothic fashion. For sure, 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 for sure. When I think of goth tops, I think light pink sequin flower corset. ASOS is such a funny website. <laughs> Y2K scene kid, college ready clout, shop reclaimed vintage. That is just topical word salad. Are you trying to get clout on your college campus? That's so antithetical to what college is even about. You can't be cool in college. It's impossible. 
everyone in college is a dork. You're literally there to learn. That's what nerds do. Like, come on. I'm actually very obsessed with the fact that there hasn't been a delay in photo booth for this entire video. And now during the one time I need there to not be one, guess what I get? Thank you so much for watching this video, but before you leave, I need you to do a quick favor for me. If you could go ahead and have an amazing day for me, that would be very fashionable of you. And if you would like to interact with me betwixt uploads, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok at Nisi Pisa, just like I am here. Feel free to suggest other places for me to window shop. I wanna get back into this, even though I'm probably gonna end up ghosting my channel again when my classes start again in September. So like two weeks from now, so this is probably the only thing you're getting for a while, but you can still recommend things to me and I'll like think about them or whatever. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to use code NISIPISA for 10% off at checkout at your local Yassified Halloween costume supply store. <laughs> oh, I think one of the houses on my street is on fire. Quirky. Bye. Are you gonna waste my time again? Are you gonna make my clip just vanish into thin air again? Are you a magician? Are you Harry fucking Houdini? Is that what's going on now? We're just taking my hard work and being like, thank you, yoink, and then poof? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Am I Timmy Turner near my fucking fairies? Are you Cosmo and Wanda, bitch?